part G. The area of the leaf shown in the figure above is 0.25 millimetre squared. Calculate the number of stomata per millimetre squared for the leaf in the figure above. Use the equation. Okay, so we've got the equation that we need to know, that we need to use. Uh, have my so I've got the equation there. What are my values? I'm going to put a line down here. My values are... Uh, so I need to work out the number of stomata per millimetre squared. So the number of stomata. I'll count those in a second. Area is 0.25 millimetre squared. So I know the area already. So I'm just fine. Uh, count the number of stomata. The stomata, remember, are the holes. Tells me there, stomata are the openings uh, on the surface of the leaf. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them in total. Okay, so I've got nine stomata in total. I've got, so that equals, let's put that there, so equals. Number of stomata 9 divided by 0.25 gives me a total of calculator 9 divided by 0.25 equals 36. Okay, and there's no units for that. A student investigated the number of stomata per millimetre squared on the upper and lower surfaces of leaves. The leaves were taken from the same plant. The table below shows the results. So, five different leaves, upper surface, number of stomata, lower surface. Calculate the mean value x. In the table above, it's worth two marks. Okay, with the mean is equal to the, the, uh, the values added, divided by the number of values, which is going to be equal to, so I've got the values added of 37 plus 36 plus 30 plus 32 plus 35, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there are 5 values in total, uh, divided by 5, Sorry. Gives me a total of 37 plus 36 plus 30 plus 32 plus 35 equals divided by 5. Gives me a grand total of 34. Okay, I kind of don't need to worry about rounding that or anything else. Water vapour is lost through stomata. Explain the difference in the number of stomata on the upper and lower surfaces of the leaves. Use the table above. And it's worth three marks. One, two, three. Okay, explain means describe plus. So the first thing is, well, I noticed that just looking at this, there are lots more um, stomata on the lower surface than the upper surface. Okay, so that's going to be the first thing. That's the describe part, isn't it? So there are more stomata per millimetre squared on the lower surface of leaf. surface. Okay, so the first thing. Right, now I need to try and say that why that is. Uh, well, um, what do I know? Well, I know that water vapour, it tells me the water vapour is lost through the stomata. So the fact it's told me that, it suggests that that's important. So it could well be 
that the reason they don't want to the yeah, plants don't want to lose water so the leaf might in fact let's think about that so on the top of the leaf it's going to be hotter won't it because it's in the sunlight top of leaf will be warmer so more chance of water evaporating Okay, the top of the leaf will be hotter, so there's more chance that it's also it's drier, there's more wind. Um, you could say there's more light, therefore it will be warmer. So by having by having less stomata on the top, on top of leaf, there will be less water loss. Okay, so plants have adapted to uh, have fewer slants on the top of the leaf surface so they don't lose as much water.